Okay, then a no heat call. Good morning. morning. Good, yourself? Doing all right. Good. So I'll start at that thermostat. Yep, thermostat okay. over here. So yeah, the battery, it was blinking the battery when it came to be, that the batteries need to be replaced. So okay. I just did that last night at four o'clock this morning. Right. It's bad waking up at four o'clock, not having any heat. Right. <laughs> You want the shot? No, you can leave it. Okay. Uh, All right, thank you. Condensation issues. losing power. Let's see what's going on with this. <sighs> no switch. Can't shut the power off. Big furnace, 80,000 BTUs, and the house is about a thousand square feet. Do it yourself, sir. Constant power back from the thermostat. Yeah. Oh, 
Yes. This one, yes, you can't do what I did in my last video. This one is the newer one, so it's reads it uh <clears throat> Okay, so we got plenty of vacuum. Power. 
<clears throat> so, I think I've got a bad board. subscribed yet consider subscribing it's free doesn't cost nothing right down that lower right hand corner there's a little box smash that box and if you like this content give me a thumbs up it has something to do with the algorithms i don't know why it just works and if you're the one who smashed the thumbs down do that twice that'd be great see you in the next one Switch. So let's try that one. Okay. Mm. 
I got one more trick up my sleeve. Well. Access granted. camera I pulled these leads off wait until it fired up and then I put a huh? fuse in there and if everything fired up so that's why I'm checking um, checking my pr negative pressure off my draft inducer I'm thinking maybe I don't know we got a bad pressure switch I don't know I like these uh, ghost furnaces that out. Okay. So let's give this a whirl again. Plenty of vacuum. That was a minus point nine seven. Back in the comment section down below what do you guys think it could be and I have power going through here I jumpered this out <laughs> and obviously I got power there now conclusion of this Goodman furnace that you just watched um I cycled this thing I don't know four five six times didn't didn't do anything fired up like it should um so I think what I'm going to do is I, I did check the gas pressures gas pressures were actually 4.25 so I lowered them down to 3.4 um it's never been adjusted um, going back next week, I'm going to replace both of the pressure switches. Um, I think the pressure switches have a bad spot in them. One of them do. But I'm going to replace the pressure switches, and I'm going to redo the vent a little bit, um, the exhaust, because it's I got a new, uh, new elbow or the new vent kit coming in um, next week. So I'm going to fix that and fix the leak, and I'm going to pull the draft inducer out and uh seal up the collector box because as you see in there there's a lot of crusties and it's been leaking for a long time so um yep that's what i'm thinking what was going on um it was a uh, bad pressure switch um it's kind of weird uh, it's kind of ironic how this thing was you know on and off on and off on and off you know so i don't know let me know your thoughts and feedback down below and uh, see what you th you guys might think it is um you know, give me some ideas. This one stumped me. I was really stumped, but I got him up in heat, so that's all that matters. And I told him to give me a call in, in, in the meantime if we have any more issues in between before I get there um, next week. So, um, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed it and smash that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.